Paris, France, July 2nd, 1971. It's 5 a.m. and Jim Morrison is fast asleep. He's been in Paris for the last four months, living in a neighborhood known as the Marais. And in just 24 hours, he'll be dead. Morrison has sublet an apartment at 17 Rue Bautreuil. He currently shares it with Pamela Corson, who, for the last five years, has been his on-again, off-again girlfriend. Morrison has come here primarily to escape, both from the pressure of being a rock star and from the possibility of doing jail time in the US, where he's been charged with indecent exposure and public profanity. Jim Morrison is also in Paris in search of artistic inspiration. So when he went to Paris, it was the idea of here is a new place, a place for artists, a place I can work on my poetry. I mean, what better place to write poetry than in Paris? And I can explore new avenues of my thinking and in his mind, I think, get himself together. Paris seems to have had a positive effect on Morrison. He looks healthier and happier than he has in years. But appearances are deceptive. Although he's only 27, years of drug and alcohol abuse have taken their toll. July 2nd, 1971, Paris, France. It's 11 a.m. and Jim Morrison only has 18 hours left to live. He's come here to Paris, a city rich in arts and inspiration, to write poetry. Sick of his rock star image, he's determined to make his mark as a serious poet. But lately, he's had a bad case of writer's block and is feeling anxious. Alain René, an old friend from Morrison's film days at UCLA, drops by. Alain René and Jim Morrison had been friends since film school. They did not hang around together a lot during Jim's rock star days. But then when they were in Paris together, they spent a lot of time. And they were good friends. They went way back. René notices that Morrison is restless. He suggests they go out for a walk and grab some lunch. Jim doesn't look too well at all. They stroll along the colorful Rue des Rosiers, not far from Morrison's apartment. Here, he is rarely recognized and is free from the pressure of playing the rock star. In this bohemian Jewish neighborhood, Jim Morrison seems to fit in perfectly. But throughout most of his life, that has rarely been the case. July 2nd, 1971. For the last three hours, Jim Morrison and his friend Alain René have been strolling through the streets of Paris. Throughout their walk, René has noticed that his friend appears shaky and unwell. Several times, Morrison breaks out in violent spasms and a bad case of the hiccups. The rock star, however, insists he's okay but in less than 15 hours, he will be far from okay. Around 2 p.m., they reach Place de Vaux, the city's famous Renaissance square. René feels that a little food may help settle his friend. But throughout the afternoon, the hiccup attacks continue and seem to be getting worse. A life of excessive drinking has finally caught up with Morrison. The cracks have been showing for years even in his earliest days with the Doors. Alcohol was his drug of choice. I mean, he did other drugs here and there, but mostly it was alcohol. One of the reasons that he would drink so much is because he liked the experience of not being in control and not worrying about it. Hey, what are all these people doing? Oh, I hate people. And now in Paris, lunching with his friend Alain René, the years of hard drinking have taken their toll on Morrison's health. In 13 hours, he will draw his final breath. After lunch, Morrison and Rone browse through a film shop. Since film school, Morrison has had a passion for the cinema, having recently made a movie called Highway. The film, a dark, impressionistic journey through the desert, was inspired by a troubling childhood experience that has stayed with Morrison throughout his life. And in the summer of 1971, 
Paris is where Morrison has come to escape that rock star image and to refocus on writing more poetry. He's lost the beard and some of the weight, but years of alcohol abuse have caught up with the frustrated poet. His afternoon walk with his friend Alain René brings him back to his rented apartment on Rue Beautreuil. Even though it's July, he brings up firewood. Climbing the stairs, he suddenly collapses out of breath. Jim Morrison is only 27, but he suffers the aches and pains of a man several times his age. And soon, the pain will end. He has less than 12 hours left to live. July 2nd, 1971, 6 p.m. For the past four months, Jim Morrison has been hiding out in a rented apartment in Paris, on the run from his rock idol image and trying to establish himself as a serious poet. He spent the day with his old friend, Alain René. It will be the last day they ever spent together. In 11 hours, Jim Morrison will be dead. When René tells Morrison that he has to leave for a dinner engagement, the singer begs him to go out with him for one more drink. Morrison may have turned his back on his public, but he's not ready to be entirely left alone. You know, there's a, a great quote about fame that says, it's not satisfying, but it's addictive. And that's true. What happens is you get used to that attention. Jim was very used to that attention. So in Paris, not having as much of it, I'm sure there was a, a little bit of loneliness, a little bit of isolation. But in July 1971, as a rock and roll exile in Paris, Jim Morrison seems hardly a threat to anyone but himself. As he drinks with Elaine René near Place de la Bastille, an enduring symbol of the French Revolution, the only rebellion brewing is the one that's violently raging through Morrison's body. His attacks suggest he's suffering from acute respiratory distress. He had had difficulty lately. He had spit up blood a few times. He had uh, had some other problems, respiratory problems. Some of this went back to an injury he had, uh, jumping out the window at the Chateau Marmot in, in, uh, in L.A. and uh, uh, doing a Tarzan act off a drain pipe and then falling and smashing off the shed of the place and injuring himself. Morrison should be looked after in a hospital. Instead, he's busy ordering yet another beer. His friend, Elaine René, announces that he has to leave to meet a friend. They will never see one another again. In just 10 hours, Jim Morrison will dabble in more than just alcohol, and it will cost him his life. <laughs> 